okay hi everyone so today let's uh, discuss this interesting problem so it says a block of mass uh, small m uh, moving at a speed v compresses a spring through a distance x before its uh, speed is halved find the spring constant of the spring fine so is tarah se hamare paas ek spring hai and there is a block of mass m initially moving with a speed v towards the spring the block will compress the spring by a distance x and uh, when the block will compress the spring by you know a distance x the speed of the block will be halved so yahan pe iska speed v by 2 ho jayega and then we have to find out the spring constant of the spring k nikalna hai hame fine so this is the initial position of the block and this is the final position of the block so we can apply work energy theorem between the initial and final position right on the block so how many forces are acting on the block from its initial to final position Uh, there will be three forces, right? One to mg will be. That's the weight of the block. There will be a normal reaction, and there will be a force from spring. Uh, let's call it spring force, Fs. When the block will compress the spring, uh, there will be a force exerted by spring on the block. That is spring force. So work energy theorem says that work done by all the forces, that is work done by normal reaction plus work done by mg plus work done by Fs, that is equal to change in kinetic energy of the block. so you can see work done by normal reaction will be zero and work done by mg will also be zero because uh, the direction of for, uh, direction of force is perpendicular to the direction of displacement mg or normal reaction vertical direction mein and the displacement of the block is in horizontal direction now what is work done by spring force that is minus of change in elastic potential energy of the spring because a spring is a, a spring force is a conservative force so we can write work done by conservative force as change in potential energy that is equal to uh, delta k so yahan se kya aa raha hai delta u e plus delta k that is equal to zero so you can also write it as change in mechanical energy of uh, the system is equal to zero right aap dekho uh, potential energy plus kinetic energy ko hum combined form mein mechanical energy bhi kehte hain right so change in mechanical energy of the system is equal to zero uh, you can write it when only conservative forces are doing work ab dekho sirf conservative forces ka work ho raha hai so you can directly write the equation that is change in mechanical energy of the system is zero and mechanical energy mein aapka kaun si kaun si energy aayega mechanical energy will include kinetic and potential so change in kinetic plus change in potential is equal to zero ye equation aap directly bhi likh sakte the right okay fine so isse solve karte hain what is change in इलास्टिक पोटेंशियल एनर्जी दैट इज हाफ ऑफ के इन टू एक्स फाइनल स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स इनिशियल का स्क्वायर प्लस चेंज इन काइनेटिक एनर्जी हाफ ऑफ एम इन टू वी फाइनल स्क्वायर माइनस वी इनिशियल स्क्वायर दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ हाफ ऑफ के इन टू एक्स फाइनल फाइनल इलांगेशन और कंप्रेशन सो फाइनली द स्प्रिंग वॉज कंप्रेस्ड बाय एक्स एट फाइनल पोजिशन राइट so that is x square minus uh, what was the initial compression in the spring when the block was in initial position initial position pe jab block tha so there was no compression in the spring so zero plus half of m final speed of the block right that is v by 2 so v square by 4 minus initial speed of the block that is v square so that is equal to zero so check karo uh kitna aa raha hai half cancel ho jayega Uh, that is uh, 3 by uh, minus of 3 v square by 4 right so ise is taraf le jate hain that is equal to k into x square so uh, value of k will be uh, 3 v square m by 4 x square so this is the value of k fine i think it's clear let me know if you still have any confusion we can discuss further okay guys keep working out best of luck